So let's have a look at the battery of the Retivis RT1 and see how well it performs when uh, when it's under load. I've got uh, the battery here, which is the 3000 milliamp hour, 7.4 volts, supposedly. Uh, but for now, I've got the radio hooked up to a regulated power supply and then into a power meter and a dummy load. This is just using basic, basic test equipment, right? This is Amazon's finest. I don't have any fancy test equipment, okay? Uh, so I'm just going to transmit on the radio for a second. And you'll see that it pulls two and a half amps. The reason I've set the power supply to 8.27 volts there is because that's what the battery was testing. Because it is fully charged, that's what the uh, voltage on the battery is at the moment. So there we go, two and a half amps. There we go. So you can see there that the radio was transmitting. I see the frequency it was transmitting on. Nice VSWR there <laughs> into the dummy load. And the power is 10.1 watts. Very nice. Perfect, right? Absolutely perfect. That's what we would expect from a regulated power supply. But now let's hook up the battery. Turn that off first. Let's hook up the battery and do the same thing. And I'm going to show you this while it does it because I want you to see, we'll just watch the power meter in the top right hand side as I key, key up. Okay, um, what's that? 10 seconds, and I'm already down to 9.45 watts. 9.43, 9.43, 9.35, unkey, right? So, I mean, I haven't exactly spoken there a lot. I haven't said much. Let's just uh, have, a, have another go. So that was, the, that was its last reading, okay? So I'm just going to key up again there. 9.7, 9.6, 9.5. Nine point four. You can see it just continues to fall away as you use it. I'd expect something like that because clearly, when a battery's under, you know, when it's being used, you will get a drop off in the um, in the amount of power it's providing, the voltage and what have you will, will drop off. And but. I just don't expect it when the battery is absolutely fully charged. I would expect the battery for, for this to be able to provide enough power to be able to maintain full power on the device for at least a period of time. This is a fully charged battery and it's dropping away immediately. Let's just try one more time. So, you know, just imagine I'm chatting on the radio as of now. Back up to 9.7, straight down, 9.5, 9.5, 9.4. Three. One point two. Okay, are we steadying? Are we steadying out there a little? One point one. One point. <laughs> okay, so it just continues to drop away. Let's put it onto low power and see what happens. This should be draining a little bit less. It will obviously be pulling less to do this now. I'm just trying to find the best way to hold this meter so you can see. Okay, so 8 watts still. I don't know. Maybe I'm mistaken, but I just think that the battery on this needs to be bigger. It's nice to have this compact radio, but I would happily, as I say with quite a few of the Retivis radios, I would happily deal with a fatter, bigger radio and um, have more power in this battery.